Hey, what's up, my people? Zemgo here, the freaking geek himself, and it's time to just transform Transformers Studio Series 86 two-pack of Ironhide and Prowl. So without further ado, let's just transform it. So the first thing you want to do is open up his chest and then flip this section out. You have two little sections in here that you want to rotate out on either side. You can then... Take his head, flip that in. You can just bring that up. You're then going to come back here, bring this section down. You want to angle his arms forward so they're pretty much aligned with this hinge here. And then untab these sections, bring them back. And the forearms will tab together right there like that. Uh, once that is done, you can take this whole upper torso you want to take it and angle it all back and then rotate it 180. Gotta bring this back up and then you can take this whole bumper section and just secure that into place. Then you can just bring all that back up. You then want to take the fists and just bring them down. You just want to bend the elbows a little bit. We'll mess with this a little bit more later. But now we will work on the legs. So open up these panels here. You want to open up this section. Flip out this panel, and now this entire foot assembly will come up and over, like that. Same thing on the other side. Open this up, flip that out, and then bring all of this up and over, like so. Once you've done that, we can take two sides here and clip it all together. And then we can bring this back section down and get all of that tabbed into place. Now as far as the legs go, you kind of want to bring up a little crotch panel here so you can line all this up, bring the legs up. The arms will tab in right back here to form the roof and again just kind of mess with the angles to get everything just kind of lined up up here like so. Let's kind of bring this, leave this uh, out of the way for now. Now you want to bring this panel up and flip this in and this is when you know if you have everything angled just right because it should just land right in there gonna bring that up and rotate that in again make sure you have everything lined up just right and then these two panels will tap together like so and now you want to bring this entire assembly up. Now this part's a little bit tricky. Basically what you're doing is you're going to be pushing down on this and just kind of pulling up on this. So just kind of pull this up and push this down and it should pop in. So just kind of pull it up, push that down, and that should pop in like so. Get everything nice and frozen. And there you go. There you have Ironhide in his alt mode. And getting back into robot mode, just undo this. Easier to pop this out than to pop it in. Just get that out of the way. Untap these sections here. Bring, bring it back and flip this down. Bring this back, flip this down. There's a little tab slot connection right here. So just kind of push that in and it should secure itself. Although my copy doesn't like to stay in too well. But once you've done that, take these sections here. Pop this up, untab all of this, disengage all that. We can split the legs here, split all this so we can get the feet situated. So take this section and just swing it down, flip that in, close that up, close that up. And again, try to keep that tabbed in. Same thing on the other side. Just bring this round down, flip that in, flip that in, close that. Again, you can try to get that. I say it's a little bit better, I guess, what you have the feet in place, but no, maybe not. <laughs> But you get the idea. Straighten the legs out. You can bring that crotch panel down. And there you have the legs all done. And now for the upper body, just straighten out his hands, straighten out his arms. You want to undo this bumper section, bring it down. Just angle this down so you can rotate this 180. And then just bring this back up. And it'll just secure itself into place. Untab the arms. Bring them down. It'll just kind of clip in right in here on either side. Bring your arm down, swing that around, bring that down. Open that up, flip out his head, flip in these little sections here. Close that up, just feed that into that opening. Close that up, bring this little 
bumper section up against his back. And there you go. There you have Ironhide back in robot mode. And now for Prowl, the first thing we're going to do is rotate his waist 180. We're going to take these little gray panels here and flip them up. We can then take his legs and peg them together. Like so, we're going to raise his arms up, which untabs these sections here. So bring those arms all the way up, bring that all the way up. We're going to just undo the chest section and bring all of this up, extend all those hinges out, then take this central section here and push this up until it kind of pops into place there so it can fill in that hood section. And once that is done, we take this entire leg assembly here and just collapse all of this up until all of it meets in the middle right there. You want to rotate his head around and then you want to close all of this up. So just get everything pushed in so everything closes up like that. Take these heel pieces and they will now flip in. Once that is done, you're going to rotate the arms. Rotate the arms, so those wheels are now facing out. Bring the arms in, and then bring them down. Close the doors on either side. Yeah, make sure it's all nice and squozen. And there you go. There you have Prowl in his alt mode. And now to get him back into robot mode, just open up the doors, get those arms out, bring them out to the sides, and then just rotate them. So the wheels are now facing back. You can take these heel pieces and flip these out. Like so, you turn his head around, you want to open up this section here, just swing that down, and then you can open up the legs, like so. Take the central section here of the hood and just pop that down like that. Then we can collapse all of this down. Bring all this down. You want to make sure these tabs are sitting ahead of these sections here. That's the proper orientation. So just drop all of that down. And then you're going to bring the arms down. You're going to have a tab slot connection right in there. So just bring that down. Tab it in. Bring that down and tab that in on either side like that. And then you can bring his arms down. And then we can rotate the waist 180. We can split his legs. Like so. Take these little gray panels here. Flip them down. And there you have Prowl back in robot mode.